arm up like you're doing a cross over a bicep, okay? Cross it. Now take one heel back, both arms now. Incorporating more core here in legs. Four more, four, three, two, knee drive, knee drive, four, three, two, back it up, four, three, two, bring it up, three, two, one, bring it back, do it again, four, three, two, one, bring it back, again, and back. Two more of these. And back. One more, bring it up. Four. Back it up. Side, side. Arms go with it. Reach. Tap back. Tap back. Two step. Palms up. Little pivot turn for that core. You're breathing. You're always thinking. So the brain is so important to think about those things above those things that are praiseworthy, honoring, and true. Four, three, two, knee drive up. Four, three, two, back it up. Four, three, two, bring it up. Again, how you do it backing up? Can you see your blind spot? The work we need to work on. Each individually. It's easy to see someone else's blind spot, isn't it? Okay. Four, three, two. Harder to see our own. And up. Back. Let's do that again. One more. Elbow, knee, crunch. Elbow, knee, easy going, okay? The word says to speak truth in love. A lady reminded me yesterday that the truth hurts, doesn't it? A lot of times, she told me, maybe you shouldn't be so truthful when you speak. <laughs> we were joking around. I'm like, no. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. March in play. Two set. Exhale. Incorporating the core. Four. Three. Two. Get ready for your knee drives. One more each. Moving it up. Four. Three. Two. One back. Three. Two. One, four, two, one, back, three, two, one, front, back it, mid front, back, one more, back it up, elbow, knee, 
crunch. You can slow it down. I know this is fast for this one. Arms can be repositioned. You can do the knee drive in place of it. 30 seconds. Easy with your spine. Four, three, two, side to side. Move side to side. Move those arms out. Move around. Move it up. Two, three, and back. Move up. And back. One more time. Up. Two. Three. And back. Nice. Okay. Transitioning. We're doing those twists. One side ten. Opposite side ten. Let's say you're like, okay, those aren't good for me. What are you going to do instead? Maybe some chops, standing, or seated. You don't have to use a weight, but I'm going to incorporate it here. So, just a reminder, when you sit on the ball, lines go vertically. So either you're going to stay seated, do whatever is best for you, or you're going to walk it out, hold end to end, or right to center. All right. The head comes up slightly. Rotate your pace. Pull the ribs in. Five more in this direction. Five, four, one more, and one. Rest for a few. Back against that ball. Bring the arms back up. Opposite side on four. Three, two, one. Rotate. Five, four, three, two, one. Head down. Pull over. Either hold the end or hold the end of one. Up for two. Back for two, up. You're bridging up using your glutes and your leg muscles. You've got great alignment. The head's on the stability ball. Up for two. Back for two. You're talking lats and shoulders, even some chest. Stabilize everything in that lower body. Legs stay strong. Muscles contracted just enough for you to maintain this well. Eight more. Breathe. Navel to your spine. Pull it in. Lift, lift up. Four more. Are you breathing? One more. And one. One weight. One arm. Opposite arm can rest. Bring it back and up. Tricep extension. If you need to support that arm, place the hand right against that elbow, okay? You can also cross over. And uh, whichever one is going to work best for you. Or you can sit up on the ball and do kickbacks. Nice and steady. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, all your soul. Four more. Two to go. And one. Bring that weight down. Support the spine with the ball. Give it a little bit of a rest, okay? If that one's not going to work good for you on the other arm, I want you all the way up on that ball. Change arms, though. Tricep four. 
three, two, one, bring it back and up. Check your legs, the core, face is relaxed. So you're working your upper arms, back of your arms, your tricep muscles, you wanna activate those. You may wanna slow it down. If you're working with heavier weights, you definitely need to slow it down, okay? I've only got an eight pound here. If I'm working with like a 20 pound, I'm slowing this way down, all right? Eight, seven, five. One more of these. Carefully bring that weight down. The head's going to be positioned on the ball. I'm going to lift up through my hips and my glutes. Bring the arms out. Palms face away. Up for two. Rotate. Down for two. Narrow press. Rotate out. Press. Rotate down. Narrow up for two. Fly out for two. Or press. Bring it down. Up for two. Now those glutes are holding, your legs are holding you strong. Remembering the word, always the word. Take the word with you, memorize the word, get it in your heart, say it, speak it, and then you'll live it. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, all your soul is up. Bring it down, exhale. There's a rhythm with your breathing through your mouth and your nose. You're engaged through your glutes and your legs. You're checking your spine, keeping that core very engaged. Lower down for two, up for two, bring it out. Notice your shoulders, your chest, and some triceps here. Again, up, bring it down narrow, bring it back narrow, bring it back out again. Four more of these, bring it down. Here's three, big combo. Two more. And up. And one. Last one. Bring those arms in. Support your low back. Walk back. Support your spine. Place your weights on your hip flexors or put them down. Give that spine a little bit of a rest. We're going to do some hip lifts. If you need to transition to the floor, you do it. I'm walking back out. Gonna hold on to these weights. All right. Lower down. The head stays on the ball and lift. Lower down. Lift up. Use those glutes. Use your legs. Inhale. Lower. Exhale. The head needs to be comfortable along with your neck. Your upper back. Exhale. Lower down. Again. How are you doing with this one? How's your spine? If it bothers you, come out of it. Ten. Nine. Seven. Remember, you can do this one on the floor. Two more of these. Hip lift. One more, and one. Bring those weights down. Walk yourself back and all the way up. Go ahead and cross those arms. Good job, everyone. Put the ball aside for now. We're actually almost finished. You've done so, so well today. Okay. This next one is one of my favorite moves to flatten the belly. 
it's a crisscross, you know it. We're gonna move it down to the mat, but let's just say you don't wanna get down to the floor. What are you gonna do instead? This one, elbow knee cross. We've done two sets of those already. Remember your modification for your crisscross? It's elbow, knee, just like that. Progression, hold for two, switch and hold for two. Breathe, exhale. Little pulse if you want with that straight leg. It's pulse, two, straight leg out. It's one, two, then switch. Again, remembering the word today. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, your strength, your soul, all that you are. So when we love the Lord with everything, guess what? You're right now. You're obedient to his word. You know when you mess up and you go to God directly right then. Lord, please forgive me. Help me to do better. Father, Lord, we love you. We want to live to please you. Airway stays open. Four, two, and three. Two more. One more of these. And last one. Feet on the mat. Arms down. Shoulders down. Let's take a nice little bridge. First, bring your arms straight up. Bring them over the head. How does that feel? Let's bridge up. Bring the arms out. Lower down. Roll through your spine. Each vertebrae at a time. Bridge up. Inhale. Lower down. Exhale. Back up. Three more of these. Strong body. Strong heart. Mind focus in on the word. Two more. And one more. Last one. Go ahead, cross your legs. Bring the arms out. We're gonna bring the knees to one side and hold. Don't force it, but feel that stretch. Hold. Bring it back up. Let's go to the opposite side. Arms out, feel the stretch through the shoulders, chest, low back, legs, and back to the center. Switch out those cross legs, or keep your feet side by side, okay? You don't have to cross the legs. And back up, so I'm gonna cross two, just to show it, and bring those legs over. Feel that stretch. Very nice, and go back to neutral. Come up on your forearms. Go ahead, bend one knee. Hold on to the fleshy part of the knee, okay? Flex this other foot and elongate that leg. Hold, try and pick it up, just a few seconds. Just right there, pick it up and hold. Lower down, switch out. Bring it in, hold on to it. Pick it up and hold. And breathe. Very nice. Both legs out. Go ahead, nice little stretch without forcing it. You can also bend those knees up, okay? You don't want to feel like you're forcing anything to happen, but you want to feel the stretch. And then back up. Shoulder stretch. You can lock it in and hold. You can make it a little bit more flexible where you can move it further or hold it right there. You can tap your fingers, show your neck, and breathe. Go ahead and switch. Tap. Ladies, you did a beautiful job today. Thanks for coming. Give yourself a hand clap. Hardest part is actually getting here, so I'm glad you showed up. Tell your friends, tell your family.